What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Eat Creeks Outdoors. I'm just in my dorm room again today, but I wanted to talk about some things um, just that interest me and this is the type of video that I like to do and I want to do more of these with you guys going forward. So drop a comment and a like down below if you like these types of videos. I'm just going to talk about some things going on right now uh, that I have some words on and some cool things in my life. So first of all guys, I wanted to show you one second. I wanted to show you guys my guitar. Um, actually, I just got this and it's super cool. It's not really mine. My uncle lent it to me so I could learn how to play. I always wanted to learn how to play and I'm a strong believer that if you want something you should just go do it. So my uncle was into, he's into guitars and he's a big guitar player. So I asked him if he would uh, kind of teach me and he actually lent me this one to learn on. So it was super nice of him. Um, and I'm a strong believer that if you want something you should just go out and get it. So I'm trying to learn how to play the guitar and for something to me, it's just fun to sit down and do. I just learned how to play Tennessee whiskey the other day, uh, some of Tennessee whiskey, and it's actually like super easy. It is super hard to learn, but some of the like little riffs, like there's one from uh, Seven Nation Army, like the dun 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 dun. That is actually like super easy. And so there's riffs that you uh, would hear and be like, oh, I wish I could do that, but they're just super easy. So. That's my guitar, guys, actually. Maybe I'll make some videos with this in the future, but I'm still learning how to play, so I'm not very good. Another thing, guys, uh, I was just watching before this, the UFC 246, which is on Saturday, that's McGregor and Cerrone. That is like a really cool fight that I'm interested in. Two really cool guys. Cerrone's like this cowboy guy. Um, I'm, I kind of like cowboy stuff, so. And McGregor's like this Irish, you know, real super dressed, nice guy, and uh, nice looking guy. So he's got nice clothes on, all the nice things. So that was really cool. I watched. If you watch the press conference, it's on YouTube. He comes in. Uh, McGregor comes in, just in like the nicest suit, and then Cerrone comes in in a python jacket, and they actually laugh about his jacket at one point. Uh, McGregor says nice jacket to him because it's like super nice. He has a python jacket on, and then he has a big cowboy hat on and I thought that was really interesting just watching them interact because usually in those press conferences they'll be yelling at each other but those guys are super respectful of each other so I'm really looking forward to UFC 246 another thing guys I listened to this podcast today while I was working out I felt super good today working out because I've just been like working out all week it's been a good week and I feel really in shape and I was listening to this podcast today, Short Story Long, by Drama Path. You guys have probably heard me mention it before. Drama Path was on Fantasy Factory, if you remember that, with Rob Deerdeck. And he has a podcast now, and he has a company, Young and Reckless, which is a clothing brand, just like E. Creek's Outdoors is. And Drama Path, he had this guy on from a company called Lyrical Lemonade. They're like a media company for like hip-hop and culture. And he said something that he was talking about. Uh, like being around negative people and being around like positive people and how like negative people can pull you down and he was saying like he just like doesn't understand how people can be like have a bad outlook on life and I would agree with that um, like there's just so many cool things going around I just noticed today like I was watching that UFC it's so cool like that all this stuff is possible in the world and there's so much stuff that goes around that's so cool so much opportunity whatever you want to do with the internet you can do it so I would encourage you guys to listen to that podcast and have a positive outlook. Next guys, I want to talk about some of my workouts that I do while I was uh, working out listening to that podcast. Um, what I did today is I ran a mile and then I did eight times where I would run at 10 miles an hour for 20 seconds and rest, run at 10 miles an hour for 20 seconds. I did that eight times. So you just run, then rest, run, rest, 20 seconds. And then I did my leg workout, which was squats with really high box jumps, like pushing yourself. Um, hanging on a pull-up bar and pulling your legs up to each side. I did flutter kicks, uh, sit-ups, and uh, what's the other thing? Oh, I did squats with kettlebells. So that's what I did today. I really like uh, working out. My big thing about working out, I take a different approach on it than most people do. I heard this guy talk on Joe Rogan. He was a UFC fighter. He talked about how when he works out, he just like works out to feel good every day like he enjoys it so I take my workouts now as like I do stuff that I enjoy doing and I'm always changing it up on Wednesday uh, me and my buddy like swam for an hour which kicked my butt 
it's so hard to swim for an hour. But like that's what I did on Wednesday. All that's all we did was just swam for an hour, because Wednesday is my cardio day, and that was so hard. And I do leg day on uh, Tuesday and Friday arm day on Monday, Thursday, and then cardio on Wednesday, and then I'll work out on Saturday, do some cardio sometimes. And, but like, for me, it's like, if I can't go, like if I can't go work out, maybe I have something else, then I, I don't try to stress it too much because I like going to work out, so I know that I will go every day. And then I also do, like, I'm trying to start doing like heavy bag workouts. I used to do them all the time. Heavy bag workouts is such a good thing. It really gets your full body. If you look up 20 minute, just like this exact thing, 20 minute heavy bag workout on YouTube, these guys' videos will come up. It's literally called 20 minute heavy bag workout. And he has three of them. He has like part one, part two, and part three. And those are what I would do. And they are so good for you. I'm actually like interested in, I've always wanted to take like a jujitsu class or something. I think that would be cool to do over the summer. So guys, that's it right now. This was just a short little talk I wanted to put out. Um, for some of the th cool things that I think are going on right now and I feel like I'm forgetting one But I can't really remember what it is. Oh also uh, if you haven't seen it. Yeah, Mac Miller just dropped a new album um, he was working on it before he died and it just came out and Rest in peace Mac Miller. He was so awesome. So guys definitely check that out for the music I'm big on music like I'm trying to learn to play my guitar I hope you guys like these types of videos where I just talk about some stuff going on in the world right now have a positive outlook on life Go over to E Creeks Outdoors. Uh, that's what we're all about, adventure and style. I love um, just exploring and just traveling and just doing fun stuff all the time, no matter what it is. I think like a lot of brands just get pigeonholed in one thing. That's like E Creeks Outdoors. We like to be about like all cool things and that's what it's about for those who love adventure and love style. So go check that stuff out at ecreeksoutdoors.com or just E Creeks Outdoors on Instagram. I'll see you guys next time on the next video be here in a few days. We always have videos come out and uh, thanks for watching.